Hi, I'm Felix, lead developer of Smart Refs for 3 ds Max. In this video I'm going to show you a small explanation of how Smart Refs works. First of all, with Smart Refs you can reference external files, having the ability to animate them and even better you can modify them in any way. With 3 ds Max itself you could do some of that and we got some animation abilities with recent updates, but it'll still have many limitations. Smart Refs is more advanced than that. Actually, it's more similar to Maya's reference system. Now, let's begin by referencing a character. Going to References, Smart Refs. The UI here is pretty straightforward. You can add, reload, remove, reset, duplicate, and merge references. Let's reference the character here. And uh, as you can see, we can manipulate it as we wish making some animation here. For those who are not familiar with the concept of referencing assets, the advantage of doing that is that you can have a source file for the character that is connected to several files where the character is animated. So if you want to modify the character, you can do it in the source file. And that modification is updated in all the animated files. That actually is a huge time saver. For example, let's save this animation. Now, suppose that my boss tells me that we have found some mistakes on the character rig after making the animations. And that's an accident that could happen anytime. So, we have this control object, but the hand doesn't rotate properly. In this case, we can just go to the source file and fix it. I will just add uh, an uh, orientation constraint to the hand and having the control as target. And uh, before finishing, my boss comes again and tells me, by the way, we need the head to follow always the rotation of the main control of the hip. So, okay, in this case, I need to add a helper for that. And you can do that without any problem. You can add as many objects as you like, and the reference character will update properly. Also, as you can see here, I'm changing the hierarchy, and the ability to do that is very important to be able to modify bricks. That actually is not possible with the current reference tools in 3ds Max. With those, you get stuck with the same hierarchy forever, and that's not useful at all. So, for now, they also asked me to add a piece of cloth here. And as you can see, it also has a skin on it. And we have to remove some objects as well. And it'll work with no problem at all. Let's open the animated file. And as you can see, the animation is preserved. And we have also all the modifications that we were asked to do. Now, Something to keep in mind is that this reference system uses the name of the objects to know how to update them, and also the name of the modifiers and the controllers. So it'll be good to have that in mind when setting up a file to use as reference. Now, the most important feature of smart refs is that it works by making overrides. If you change something in a reference asset, that change will be preserved and the rest will just be updated every time that you reload the scene. That applies to anything, modifiers, materials, object properties, and so on. Watch the next video where you can see a comparison between smart refs and the conventional tools of 3ds Max, so you can see the big advantages of using this new reference system. There are also some other videos in this channel showing other useful techniques like referencing materials, using proxy scenes and persistent refs. And thanks for watching. If you haven't tried the smart refs, give it a go and see how your production pipeline can improve a lot by using this powerful tool for 3ds Max.